Hello, my friends. I'm so glad to see you again. Of course, I'm Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey. I'm glad you're back for our latest story for people just your age. Remember, we've been talking all about what happened after Jesus rose from the dead. Now, it is 40 days since Jesus rose from the dead. That is a very special day in the Christian church. We call it the day of ascension. What's that word mean? Well, I bet you've heard the word ascend, right? You go up. An elevator goes up, it ascends. When you walk up the stairs, it ascends. So, what did Jesus ascend? And how did he do it? Well, for 40 days after Jesus rose from the dead, he went around and talked to a great many people. We've talked about that in our children's stories. And at one point, there were 500 people all together who saw Jesus. Some people say, you know, Jesus really didn't rise from the dead. Well, there were 500 witnesses who said he did. And back in the day of Jesus, to say that he rose from the dead might get you killed. But still, they said it happened. So I, I think I'll believe them. He really did rise from the dead. For 40 days, he walked around showing himself to people. Then came the day of ascension. Jesus was on a hilltop. And he told his disciples that it was time to, for him to go live in heaven with God the Father. And all of a sudden, just before their eyes, he started rising. It's almost like he beamed up, except he didn't just dematerialize. No, he actually rose up. They could see him floating up into heaven. Now, I've never seen anything like that before. If I saw it, I would be pretty darn surprised. And see this blue sky? What do you think all the disciples did? All those 500 people who were around Jesus, well, they went, huh? And they just looked up into the sky. They could not believe what they had just seen. Now, we don't know how long they stood there and stared up in the sky, but it was a little while. And then an angel appeared in the sky. The angel said to them, uh, what are you doing here looking up in the sky? Jesus has ascended into heaven. And at the end of the world, he'll come back just like you saw him go. He'll come out of the sky. And he's going to make all things better. So what do you think they did next? We know Jesus had told them that after he would go back to God the Father, they were to go into Jerusalem. You know that big city, we've talked about Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Well, he told them to go and wait there, and they would get empowered. They didn't know what that meant. They may have had an idea, but they really did not know what that meant. So what did they do? Well, Luke the Bible writer tells us that after the angel spoke to them, they stopped staring in the sky. And they went to Jerusalem. And they went to the great temple of Jerusalem. 
It was there then. <clears throat> About 40 years later, the Romans destroyed it. But it was still there then. They went to the temple and every day they prayed. And they lived together, all the disciples, kind of like one big extended family. And they lived there together and they waited for this empowerment to come. Even though they really didn't understand what that meant. Now, does it really do us any good to have Jesus ascend into heaven? Wouldn't it be better if he was standing here next to us? Mm, maybe. You know how people get old and they can't do what they used to be able to do. See, if Jesus had stayed with his disciples, he would have just gotten older. Because even though he was God, he was also human. He would have gotten older and could do less of what he used to do. And he wouldn't have been the same Jesus they knew. No, it's better that he goes right in the height of his glory, 40 days after he rose from the dead. What do you think Jesus does in heaven? Have any idea? He advocates for us. He's our friend. He sits right next to God the Father. And he tells God the Father, who are his friends on earth? That way, God can be gracious to us. So, it's good that Jesus ascended. But, are you one of the friends of Jesus that he's talking to the Father about? Do you live like a friend of Jesus? Do you ignore him? Or do you pray to him every day? Do you sing songs of praise to Jesus? See, he's a wonderful advocate for his friends. Now that we're celebrating ascension, let's all make sure that we are a friend of Jesus. Can you remember that? I hope so. Next week, we'll talk about what that empowerment really meant. And that's going to be the end of this series. Starting in two weeks, we're going to talk about stories that Jesus told while he was on earth. Next week, we'll celebrate Pentecost. Today is Ascension. I hope you're a friend of Jesus. This is Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church in Bergenfield. Wishing you a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed year. Please, comment, like, share this when you see it on Facebook or YouTube. And be a friend of Jesus.